Hi everyone, welcome back to another class of pronunciation in use. This is the last class and we are learning the last unit, unit 60, talking about high tones. So we've already talked about high tones, now we're gonna get uh, into some more examples and make you sound uh, better, like each lesson of pronunciation in use is targeting one area of your pronunciation skills and if you learn it well and practice it you're gonna sound better like you're gonna be e more easily understood so this part let me give you a simple example before the lesson so you know what we're doing so let me write two examples here so the, the second one could be funny but anyway, I don't know what happened. Why is it not focusing well? Okay. So the first example, A says, I won the lottery. And B says, excellent. Right? Now, look at the second example. Um, the flight, uh, no, the clap, let's say, I don't know. Let's write this one. I broke your camera, right? And B says, excellent. So you see, both answers or replies are excellent. But the way you say it are not the same. So when you say this one, you go, you go up. Like, um, I mean, in your speech, there is that energy and feeling that you are happy. A says, I won the lottery. And B says, uh, something like this, excellent. It's like you go up in the middle and then you go like this, excellent. However, in the second one, when you get the bad news, your friend tells you, I broke your camera. You're gonna say, excellent, which definitely means the opposite of excellent. It means terrible. So remember, if you are using words like excellent, amazing, fantastic, make sure that you use the first intonation or the first kind of pronunciation. Because if you do it like excellent or fantastic, you're gonna mean the exact opposite. So the person you're talking to might get offended if your pronunciation is like this one. Of course, you can use this pronunciation when you are, when you mean the opposite, but make sure not to use it when you mean the positive side. So I'll do that again. A says, I won the lottery. B says, excellent. Uh, and A says, I broke your camera. And B, B says, excellent, with that flat voice. Now let's get into more examples here. Here it says, listen to these three people. So we have three conversations. One of them is here, number two, number three. Okay. Uh, all of them are saying thank you right all of them are saying thank you but listen to them how do they say thank you like there are different ways to say thank you sometimes you say thank you sometimes you say thank you like your tone is important so let's listen what happened yes c94 one. Tickets, please. Thank you. Ninety-four. One. Tickets, please. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Two. Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. Three. 
Oh, great. Thank you very much. All over my coat. So, as you see, all of these people are saying thank you. The first one is quite normal. I mean, um, this person is on the train and he's uh, gathering the tickets. So, it says, tickets, please. They hand the tickets to him. Uh, and he says, thank you. Thank you. It's, it's, it's kind of normal, like ordinary. But in number two, the woman is uh, using high tones. Because she forgot to take her, I don't know, purse or hat. And the seller, the restaurant waiter, uh, took it outside and told her that she forgot to take it. And she says, thank you, thank you very much. So you see she's going high in voice. I mean, her tone is high. She doesn't say thank you. She says thank you thank you very much because she's really uh, thankful <laughs> the third one though is the quite uh, is quite part negative and uh, there's a car that is passing by and it splashes water all over his coat or hair coat and he or she says uh, thank you all over my coat <laughs> This means the exact opposite of thank you. It, it, it means the exact opposite. And, um, he's angry. Listen again. One. Tickets, please. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Two. Oh, thank you. Thanks very much. Three. Oh, great. Thank you very much. All over my coat. Thank you very much. All over my coat. So she means the opposite. Yes, Angel. The first one is not flat. I mean, the, yeah, you could say flat. The, the first one is very normal. The second one is the one that is totally different. It's using the high tone. Yes. So here we have some more examples. Um, there are two people. I think they are wife and husband. They are a couple. Claire is the woman and Paul is the man. Now who is Liz? I think Liz is a kind of interviewer and she's asking them some questions about their trip. Now Claire is not very happy or actually didn't enjoy very much so she uses a flat intonation but Paul is going high at some places to show that he was pleased with them. For example Liz says how was your trip? The woman says it was quite nice right it was quite nice but Paul doesn't say nice. You know, nice is a simple word and you use simple pronunciation, nice. Paul uses a stronger word, which is brilliant. And then he adds that high tones to it. And he says brilliant, not just nice, you know. So the man is quite positive and the woman didn't really enjoy very much. Now let's listen. It's better to listen and feel the difference. C95. So how was your trip? Oh, it was quite nice. What do you mean nice? It was brilliant. Good hotel? Quite pleasant, yes. Pleasant? It was excellent. Superb. How about the food? It was okay. Okay? It was absolutely delicious. And the scenery? Quite pretty. It was amazing. Beautiful. So you see, uh, the woman is saying, okay, it was okay. And the man says, okay? It was absolutely amazing. Excellent. Superb. 
So you see, the man is using strong words with high tones. And yeah, scenery means view here. So how was the view? Like, it says the view was okay. Uh, but Paul says it was not okay. It was amazing. It was beautiful. Let's listen again. Uh, it's better to repeat two. So I'll try to repeat the man's sentences. So how was your trip? Oh, it was quite nice. What do you mean nice? It was brilliant. What do you mean nice? It was brilliant. Okay, did you repeat that? I hope you did. Let's go to the next one. Good hotel? Quite pleasant, yes. Pleasant? It was excellent. Pleasant? It was excellent. Superb. Superb. How about the food? It was okay. Okay? It was absolutely delicious. Okay? It was absolutely delicious. And the scenery? Quite pretty. It was amazing. Beautiful. It was amazing. Beautiful. Right? So, we're going to practice this. I think there's one exercise about that too. <clears throat> Let's go to the last one. Uh, this is another example, so listen. C96. One. We've won a holiday for two in Jamaica. Brilliant! Two. Our flight has been cancelled. Brilliant. So, <laughs> in the first one, there's good news. It says we won a holiday in Jamaica for two people. But in the second one, it's bad news. Our flight has been cancelled. <laughs> exactly like poker face, you should say brilliant. So pay attention to the difference. We won a holiday for two in Jamaica. Brilliant. Happy. The second one, our flight has been cancelled. Brilliant. <laughs> Quite flat and quite, uh, you know, negative sense in it that you can feel. So, let's go to the next part and practice. If you have questions, you can also type in the comment section or type no if you don't have question. If I see your no's, I will move on to the next part. And if I see a question, I will answer it. Angel says it means actually terrible. Yeah, this brilliant is sarcastic. It means the opposite. So our flight was cancelled. Brilliant. It means terrible, actually. So yeah, it means terrible. It's a sarcastic way of answering. All right, I don't see any more questions. I think it's clear. Maybe we can get into some more practices. It's going to help us understand it better. So here on the left, you have uh, the positive ones, like the positive sense. So let me put an icon like this here. It's on the left. And on the right, you got people that you don't like. So that's the negative one. Let me put another emoji here with the sad face. Yeah. So now what should we do? Listen to these people. There are some names here. For example, Jeremy is a person. Or I don't know, Annie is a person. Kathleen is a person. Gail, Tim, they are people. So we have some names, we want to put them in one of the columns. I don't know, happy or sad. We have to decide where they go. How we can do so 
is by listening carefully to the audio. So please listen and tell me what do they think about these people. Do they like them or do they not like them? Now Jeremy, they don't like Jeremy. Why? I don't know. Let's listen. C97. Jeremy is going to stay at the same hotel as us. Oh, great. <laughs> so, the woman says Jeremy is going to stay at the same hotel as us. It means he's going to come to our hotel. And Jim says, oh, great. So the way Jim says, oh, great, it means they hate Jeremy. They don't like Jeremy. So this is a not like this is the person they don't like let's go to the next one Annie is the next person listen Jeremy is going to stay at the same hotel as us oh great Anne's invited us to a party fantastic so what do you think Anne is a person they like or a person they don't like you can type one or two. One means they like it. Two means they don't like him or they don't like her. Yeah, this is a happy one. They like Anne. So, yes. Anne says that Anne invited us. Anne says, fantastic. We're great. We're happy to go there. Good angel. Good sweet. So, it's number one. This is number one. Happy. Kathleen's coming to stay with us for a few days. That'll be fun. Kathleen's coming to stay with us for a few days. That'll be fun. So what do you think about it? Do you want to listen again? Kathleen's coming to stay with us for a few days. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. So the name is Kathleen. Do, do they like her or no? You want to listen again? Kathleen's coming to stay with us for a few days. That'll be fun. Angel says, I guess it's two. Sweet says two. Um, I, I thought it was, I think it's one, but I'm not sure. It sounds more positive. It says that will be fun. I mean, she doesn't say that will be fun. She says that will be fun. You know, I, I feel that she's going up. Listen again. Fantastic! Kathleen's coming to stay with us for a few days. That'll be fun. See, at the end, she says fun. So I think it's one. But if you think two, I will write two. We will check later. Okay, we will check later. So let's go to the last one. Gail and Tim. Gail and Tim want to come on holiday with us. That'll be nice. Holiday with us. Gail and Tim want to come on holiday with us. That'll be nice. So Gail and Tim want to come on holiday with us. That will be nice. What do you think about that? Yeah, this one I agree with you. I believe it's two. I mean, Gail and Tim, they don't like them. Because the man says that will be nice. Uh, he doesn't say that will be nice. He says that will be nice like this so I believe they hate these two people not hate but they don't like him they don't like them so that's what I say but this one I doubt I think it's one so I have to go and check it let me see 60 the last unit Alright, here you see some people. Jeremy, 
Gale team are the people they don't like. Anne and Kathleen they like. So I think I was right. I I'm not I think. Let me see. Or maybe you were right. Where are we? Uh -huh. So yes, uh, Kathleen, they like Kathleen. It's number one. It's not two, it's one. Listen again, uh, you could say it. The intonation is going up. I mean, the tone is high. It says, that will be fun. She doesn't say that will be fun. It says, that will be fun. You're going up. Listen again. Anne's invited us to a party. Fantastic! Kathleen's coming to stay with us for a few days. That'll be fun. That'll be fun. It's going up. I mean, the tone is high, so... Yes, it's someone they they like, actually. All right, let's go to the second exercise. Ah, the second exercise, we should listen and practice the conversation. C-98. Yeah, the conversation here. So imagine here, you are Paul, the positive guy. Here you are Paul, and you should read Paul's lines. Listen and repeat. I mean, listen and actually say. Imagine you are Paul. Remember, you are positive. Your voice needs to be like your tone has to be high and like happy so listen the beach was quite nice what do you mean nice it was brilliant so now your turn the beach was quite nice All right, I hope you said that, although some people might have looked at you <laughs> uh, strangely, like what happened to them. But I hope you practiced that loud. I mean, you practiced it, uh, you practiced it out loud. What do you mean, nice? It was brilliant. The weather was good. was good the weather was good I don't know the villa was good uh, good it was excellent superb the nightlife was okay okay it was amazing so you see all the things she says She's going with the flat intonation, flat tone. You should make it high. The shops were nice. The shops were nice. The shops were fantastic. Like you could say this. The people were okay. The people were okay. The people were absolutely generous, for example. So yeah, whatever they say, if you want to say something else, you give the opposite idea and you use that high tone. Now you might say, teacher, this lesson is useless. Well, no, you know, you can use this lesson to be more fun. Like you can make jokes sometimes. You know, sometimes something bad happens. You don't have to say it was bad. You can just say amazing, which definitely means it was bad. But it's a better way and nicer way to say it using your sense of humor. <laughs> something bad happens. Yeah, oh, I failed my test. And you say, excellent. So you see, you can really use it in your speaking. If you, I mean, the situation... Uh, comes up you can use it it could be practical 
All right. The next part, you listen and you should tell me, is it flat or is it high? For example, here, the first one is flat. We had to stay in a five-star hotel. And then it says, how awful for you. And then B says, we had to spend two days in the airport. And this guy says, how awful for you. So we should listen to the CD and write F or H. Actually, we should draw these arrows, but because you want to comment, I just let it be the letters F and H. Listen. C99. Example A. We had to stay in a five-star hotel. <coughs> How awful for you. Example B. We had to spend two days in the airport. How awful for you. How awful for you. So the second one is going higher in tone. Now let's go to number one, A and B. You can type your answer in this format. F, H, I don't know, H, F, 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 H, H. You have all those options for number one. So please listen and type one of them. 1A Forget the beach, it's raining again. Brilliant. 1B They say we don't have to pay, it's free. Brilliant. So what do you say? 1A Forget the beach, it's raining again. Brilliant. 1B they say we don't have to pay, it's free! Brilliant! Exactly, good sweet, good angel, it's F-H. The first one is flat, because you are sad and you don't mean brilliant, you just say brilliant. Just forget the beach, it's raining again, forget the beach, and you say, ah, oh, brilliant. It's flat, it's not high in tone. The second one says they say we don't have to pay. It's out of like it's free of charge. There's no money that we have to pay. And the other person says brilliant. So this one is going high in tone. So F H. Let's go to number two. Good Hossein. Two A. I got an A in the exam. Well done. Two B. I've crashed the car again. Well done. All right, what do you think? You want to listen again? I got an A in the exam. Well done! 2B. I've crashed the car again. Well done. Right, exactly. This is the opposite. This is HF. H means it's going high because it's positive. I got an A. I said, well done. B says, I crashed your car. It's well done. <laughs> this one is flat, right? 2A. I got an A in the exam. Well done. 2B. I've crashed the car again. Well done. 3A. I can count to three in German. Amazing. 3B. I learned how to fly a plane while we were on holiday. Amazing. 4A. So, what do you think? I can count to three. One, two, three in German. Amazing. Uh, number part B, I learned how to fly a plane while we were on holiday. Amazing! So this is FH, good angel and sweet. Also Hussein answered the previous one, good. So this is uh, flat because it's not important. You learned to count to three, one, two, three. 
you can just memorize them. It's not a big accomplishment. It's not a kind of success. But the second one says, I learned to fly the plane. This is amazing. So it's important when you're speaking, follow these rules. Not think about them, but just try to give your voice a little bit of energy. And the way that you speak, it's going to make you sound much better and easier to understand. Let's go to number five. We could pick fresh fruit off the trees in the garden. Delicious! 4B. We had a tiny bit of cheese on a dry old piece of bread. Delicious. Bizzing. 4A. We could pick fresh fruit off the trees in the garden. Delicious. 4B. We had a tiny bit of cheese on a dry old piece of bread. Delicious. 5A. All right. Hi, Lale. Welcome. I see some people are typing HF. So, yeah, I think, yeah, it makes sense, right? Because it says we had fresh fruits, it's delicious. Your tone is going high, delicious. The second one, it says we had a little bread, a little cheese, dry bread. So it's not delicious. This one is flat. The, you know, the tone is flat. Good Hossein, good angel. Good sweet. Let's go to the last one. The last exercise of this book. Frank says he'll take us to the airport. Excellent. 5B. The car's broken down and there are no taxis. Excellent. Frank says he'll take us to the airport. Excellent. The car is broken down and there are no taxis. Excellent. So what do you think? Which one is flat? Which one is high in terms of tone? Remember this lesson we're talking about high tones. All right, good. Hussein, good. The first one is high. Lale, good, yes. The, six, um, the, the first one is high. The second one is not high. It's flat. Because it's bad news, right? So it's, there's no taxi. The car is broken down. Excellent. Like, terrible, actually, it means. The first one is positive. Frank says he'll take us to the airport. Excellent. That's great. So exactly, that's HF. And with that, we come to the end of this book. I'm happy I finished this book too. Unit 60, talking about um, high tones. Covered this unit as well, talking about every single part, going through all the exercises one by one. It was amazing. So if there's any question or comments, you can just type it or send a request. I'll get you on the call and we'll talk. So I'll stop recording and share this on my Telegram channel right now.